Good afternoon, my lovelies. Today is Tuesday, April 20th, 420 for all you in the States. Current temperature today in Halifax is 13 degrees Celsius, 55 Fahrenheit. Today's video, we're going to go and explore the historic Schmidtville neighborhood here in Halifax. So Schmidtville originally was Halifax's very first suburb. It was located just outside of the walls of the town of Halifax in the 1700s. The architecture here is Georgian. And uber modern. <laughs> so during the 60s and 70s when they were revitalizing the Spring Garden Road uh, District. Thanks. A lot of the original homes were taken down and demolished. But a few of the the area, some of the streets are still intact. And for some reason, <laughs> Pocket 2 does not want to listen to me today. There we go. So although a lot of these homes are historical in nature, they have been since either converted into apartments or flats or some small businesses. Somebody just put down some fresh mulch that I'm walking past and it smells really good. I don't know, the smell of dirt and earth. It appeals to my Capricorn senses. New mulch, new flowers coming through. I do want to cross the street so you can see the homes that I was uh, walking past. Um, it's very reminiscent of my North End neighborhood. We're still waiting for leaves to come out on trees. The homes are what they call mirror homes because they are symmetrical. And that was the style of the day. I am just trying to remember what street I am on. I want to say that I am on Brenton Street. It's either Brenton or Birmingham. I know it starts with a B.
so I did start off the video with at the plaque designating Schmidtville. Hard to believe this was a, a suburb <laughs> of the city. And here's something you don't really see all that often in Halifax. A brick townhouse. I'm going to assume that it was built by Shaw Brick of Elmsdale. This house is unique. because it's actually three cottages in a row. That was Birmingham Street that we were on. Now we are on Morris. So we have some uh, single detached homes here. So this is a very small enclave of homes. Yeah, I did that on purpose. <laughs> all right. This is Dresden Row. This stretches all the way up until you get to Sackville Street. building here was a house. It is now either apartments or very expensive uh, condos. It's called the Dresden Park Residences. So when you look down the laneway, you can see the, the old original stone foundations. Granted, there have been damages over the years, so they've fixed them up with some brick. Today I'm going to be a zigzagger. Because I'm going to cross the street again. Now the next street over um, is the back end of a high-rise apartment building. So there's not too much. I 
just saw these guys. Move, move. Isn't that pretty? If only I knew flowers. If only I knew how to grow them. So one of these condos is sold. This area of downtown is very uh, desirable to live. But I would think right now with all the construction going on, it would be very, very noisy. Go back down Clyde Street. the look of new development. So I think what we'll do, we'll just keep following Dresden Row up to Spring Garden and let's go check out Public Gardens. Nice letting me cross there, lady. I'll see you next Tuesday. I have no change, my dear. So that was the very small, but very historic Schmidtville. Now I have been playing around with the uh, Pocket 2 at home in my spare time. So now we're just walking down Spring Garden Road towards the Public Gardens.
but I do believe it was Friday or something that this end of Spring Garden was shut down due to a fire. At the Kai Br Brady's. I had uh, just finished recording a video of a walk in the library. I wanted to redo that. Because the last time I went, I didn't have a gimbal and I was winging it with my phone. So. the last time I wanted to come into public gardens I was on a live stream and uh, they were closing up for the evening I also did a live stream here in the gardens the day after a snowstorm back in January. Oh, they do have the uh, bird bath covered up still. These are the oldest Victorian gardens in all of North America. <laughs> this area here is where the agave plant um, usually goes. It's in storage right now because our winter was not the greatest to uh, support life for an agave plant. And that thing is huge. This is when you know it's uh, warm weather out, when you can hear motorcycles. Now with the gardens, they are uh, coming back to life. Now we could just wait for the trees to get some leaves. That would be perfect. It is a popular spot for uh, People that are downtown, whether they're working and coming down on a lunch hour to eat. If you're in any of the nearby hospitals, 
if you're allowed out. A lot of them come over to the gardens for some fresh air and the views. Looks like they have parts of the walkways still blocked off for maintenance. It's the duck pond. Oh, I think the ducks are on the other side. Let's go find some duckies. This walkway here is known as the Grand Promenade. It's the main thoroughfare throughout the uh, gardens. It's the Victorian bandstand. And the canteen behind it. So when that uh, hopefully will open this summer, that's where you get your snacks and your ice cream. Because, you know, who doesn't like ice cream? There's a ducky. He was just playing in the water. some seagulls. And I'm not seeing any other ducks. But I have a bunch of flies around me here. So I'm at the water's edge. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I'll just walk behind. Oh, I, yeah, I got them on camera. <laughs> don't like walking on the grass. <laughs> so they did take out the, uh, the water fountain. wore a hoodie today and I'm regretting that decision. But because it, my hoodie is a pullover hoodie, I don't have a t-shirt on underneath. So it's not like I can just like whip off my hoodie and throw it in my backpack. Because I can't. <laughs> And you know me, I don't want to turn anybody on. 
Oh, yeah, it's one. Of, it's going to be one of these videos, I think. No, not really. There's one of the uh, the fountains here in the city, in the park. Now, for the last uh, year or so, the fountains haven't been turned off because of the uh, because of co uh, the coronavirus or COVID. Oh no, they got the tree down. How old was this tree? Because it has a marker in front of it. It was a golden elm tree. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Hopefully, with the uh, cuts here on the side, maybe they're going to do a transplant. Can you see here? That, that could have been also from the chainsaw, but I'm being optimistic. I'm trying to keep an eye on my uh, view screen just to see what my timing is like. I find that the longer the video, the more difficult it is for it to upload for some reason onto YouTube. I had a, a video that I took a long time for it to upload to my YouTube. That was the one on the Dartmouth Harbor Walk, the 53 minute long one. For some reason, my computer, my laptop kept freezing up. so. I had to keep resuming the upload. Basically, I just have to hit create and then do the um, click onto the file again. And what it does, it just reboots it. It kicks the file in the butt to start up again. little things that I uh, googled. So this little area will be beautiful when it's uh, in full bloom. And I just realized I am getting hungry. My tummy is a rumbly. So I think I will be ending this video very soon. <laughs> and there is the goddess Ceres. She is the goddess, the Roman goddess of agriculture. There used to be four goddesses here in the park. But over time, they've been damaged. I'm going to end this here at the bandstand. I want to thank you all for coming over to my channel and watching the video. If you already haven't uh, hit the like button, go smash that like button. Hit the subscribe, get the bell notifications. That will let you know when I'm going to be uploading next to YouTube or if I'm going to be doing a live stream. Because I, I do those now. And... Now that I'm in the process of getting monetized, pretty soon I will be offering channel memberships and you will be able to super chat me on live streams. But that isn't the whole point of live streams. Live streams is just to walk around or hang out with you guys and chat. Because <laughs> y'all are like my, my chosen family. So I want to thank to my Spring Garden Road, my top tier Patreons, that would be Vivian Johnson, 
Michael Gray, DQ, and Giga or Gija, Gija, that was the name that they used, so. Alrighty, I got a little vehicle coming. Alright, I'm still playing around with this teeny tiny little button. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. So if you do want to support the channel, I do have links in my... Oh, I don't want that one. I do have links in the description for my PayPal and my Patreon. So I want to wish you all a lovely day. Enjoy the weather wherever you are if it's sunny. Remember to wear a mask, wash your hands, and sanitize. And get vaccinated if you can. Alrighty, that's my little lecture for the day. We will see you next time. Bye.